On Capitol Hill are trying to push through a funding bill. It's passed the Senate and now heads for a tough sell in the House. That political volley puts health care on the line for thousands of people in the Quad Cities. That's because in part of the federal spending plan includes money for community health centers. Their funding expired back in September. If Congress doesn't pass a budget, that could mean a 70% cut for community health centers. Local force Tahera Rahman joins us in the studio with more on how many Quad Cityans it could impact. Tahera? Rhetoric, federal funding for community health care clini clinics expired in September, putting millions of dollars at risk. And if lawmakers on Capitol Hill don't pass a plan soon, millions of people would be impacted right here at home. I mean, I wouldn't go nowhere else. Keisha has been coming to the community health care clinic in Davenport regularly for more than a year now. It's, it's really reasonable. It's affordable. She checks up on her thyroid and blood pressure and says her costs would skyrocket if she went to a private office. Here it goes by your income. At some private care, you're going to go in at the door with $50. Some people don't have $50. CHC, based in Davenport, serves about 37,000 people in the Quad Cities and Clinton. About 90% of those patients fall below the 200% poverty line. CEO Tom Bowman says if federal funding doesn't show up soon, it could hurt thousands. So the number of patients that we'd be able to serve would probably drop. Um, some estimates as much as 6,000 patients would not be able to come to CHC. The possible $3 million loss could also mean service cuts have to look at certain programs that maybe um, aren't as cost effective as other programs um, and look at some of those services and uh, what do we have to keep as core services and what, what can we live without. Bowman says he's optimistic that the current spending plan in Congress will pass, but he says in the meantime, centers across the country have had to stop construction or been denied credit because of the funding limbo. For Bowman, he says he's put a freeze on hiring and spending. Anything that's going to be a significant cost to us, we've had to put some delays on those types of things. Bowman was on Capitol Hill yesterday to make a pitch to lawmakers. His message, the same as his patients. You heard a lot of people by not sending funding. We need funding. Bowman says he's confident that the current spending bill will pass Congress soon, but he says it's still a temporary fix, only two years. He says the CHC is looking at long-term solutions to keep funding steady. In the studio, Tahira Rahman, Local 4 News.